as a videographer and a photographer, I'm sitting with this wealth of knowledge in my head that I don't know how to communicate. I don't know how to bring it across. I don't know how to structure it accordingly for people to actually listen to what I have to say. This is one of the fundamental flaws that I've identified within myself. I'm sitting with equipment for days. I'm sitting with photography equipment, with videography equipment, with lights, with sound, with uh, computers, with editing and all of these things. I have all of these things. The problem is in order for me to be able to articulate and bring these things across, that's why I'm struggling. So I can go out there on a daily basis. It, I go out daily and I go shoot daily. I go take photos daily, I go take videos daily. I, I capture things, I learn cinematography, I learn all of these things on a daily basis. How do I make it work? This is a question that I ask myself. And I think there's a lot of other creators out there that might be thinking exactly the same thing. Especially people that are starting out their YouTube career, they're starting out their channel and stuff like that. You want to know how to bring these things across. And I, I'm asking myself the same question. How do I bring this thing across? One of the, one of the biggest problems that I have is that I'm structure orientated. So I've been working in the operations space for years and years and years. And because from an operations perspective, you are putting a operational document, a standard operating procedure, you're putting those things in place, which means that it starts at the beginning and these are the things in between. Creating a video is exactly the same thing. I have that idea in mind, but a person doesn't always want to watch stuff like that. I don't have the charisma of Mr. Beast and all of these people. See Vic's hand right there? Yeah. <laughs> I don't have the charisma of some of Peter McKinnon and stuff. Found it. I don't have these people's charisma. This is who I am. This is this is always who I've been. Low down behind the scenes guy, behind the camera guy, never getting in front of the camera. And now I need to get in front of the camera. It's a it's a difficult transition to make. I think I've taught myself a lot of these things over the over the past couple of months, especially in the TikTok space. Um, I moved over to TikTok for a specific reason was to get comfortable in this entire thing. The end result would be that I need to become so comfortable that when I come to YouTube, uh, that level of comfort I can then transfer over here. So now I can start speaking. I can start speaking a lot more freely because I know that YouTube is a place that has a lot more... What's the word that I'm looking for? It's a lot more taxing. Let me put it that way. It's a lot more taxing. The requirements in making a video is a lot higher than it is on TikTok. It might just be something that I just... I just thought of now I can sit in front of a camera, record it quickly, post it on TikTok and everything would be a for away. But yeah, it's a completely different story. Yeah, I'm coming now and I'm like, okay, now I need to start writing things down. I need to start scripting things. I need to create a shot list. I need to create a mood board. I need to create a storyboard. I need to create a this and I need to create that and I need to create that and that and that and that. The good thing about it is it's, it's brilliant. I love it. Eh? I, I love the fact that it is teaching me so much. The one thing that I can tell you is that over the past couple of years, I've learned a tremendous deal. And I think because of the way that I overthink things, I've broken down that consistency aspect. I can, I can figure, I can find an idea now. I can write that idea down. I can read over it again and say, no, this is not going to work. Then I find, then I get the next idea, then I write it down and I say, no, this is not going to work. Then I get the next idea, then I write it down, and I say, no, this is not going to work. That, was, that is my fundamental flaw. I think I'm going to change my approach. I have to change my approach. I need to break down that. Dude, stop overanalyzing things and just put something out there. Pick one topic, set it down, structure it properly, and then just put it out there and check and wait for the results. Then find the next thing, 
structure it properly, capture the B-roll, put it out there. I can do product photography, I can do product videography, I can do I, I do commercial videography, I can do from a drone perspective, I can do camera reviews, I can do gear reviews, any type of gear reviews, all of the gear that I have. I have so much gear here, I have so much to talk about. And I'm not speaking about, I'm speaking about small things, big things, whatever the case may be, cameras, lenses, monitors, lights, soft boxes, uh, editing, um, stabilization, whatever the case may be. I can do head to head versus this one versus that, this one versus that, DJI RS3 Mini versus DJI RS2 Pro, 24 to 70 Tamron over there, I have the Nikon 70 to 200, I have a 35 mm VC Tamron, I have the Atmos Ninja 5, I have Panasonic S5, I have a Nikon Z6 II. So, I think my starting point for now would be just to oh, stop overthinking things, find one thing, put it together, put it out there. This might resonate with only one person, it might resonate with a lot more people, but for me at the moment, this is, this is where I'm stuck. This is where I've been stuck for a while. One of the things that I like to do, especially when I'm learning new things, was take one thing that I learned and then just be able to communicate and, and, and put that out there to say, just say, from a cinematography perspective, this is something that I learned today, let me put it out there. Maybe someone else was looking for a way to actually do this thing. So my, my channel is fundamentally regarding gear, filmmaking, cinematography, photography. But this is what I do, this is what I'm passionate about, this is what I love. These are things that I do on a daily basis. Let my daily life come to the fore.